morning children today we are dealing with the last section of the topic air rainfall or in the remaining topics we had already learned in the zoom class today we will be learning the three types of rainfall so which are the three types of rainfall which we had learned they were relief or orographic rainfall convectional rainfall and cyclonic rainfall so these were the these are the three types of rainfall which we are going to deal separately so what is relief rainfall or how does relief rainfall occur relief rainfall is also known as orographic rainfall o r o g r a p h i c relief rainfall also known as orographic rainfall so how does orographic or relief rainfall occur usually relief rainfall occurs when moisture laden winds are being blocked by a barrier or blocked by a mountain range see here in this picture sea water wind blowing from sea towards the land they are being blocked by very huge mountain ranges and see this is the most uh, popular way of rainfall which occurs in most parts of the countries that is relief rainfall so here wind blowing from sea to land they are usually moisture laden winds so these moisture laden winds when they are being blocked by mountains they rise higher up to the atmosphere where they condense and fall down or they come back down to the earth in the form of rainfall so these areas will be receiving very heavy rainfall because they are areas which are which like very close to the uh, sea or to or which faces the moisture laden winds thereby these areas receive very heavy rainfall so the area facing the sea or the area which faces the moisture laden wind is called as the windward side of a mountain so windward side is the side of the mountain which receive very heavy rainfall now the wind after shedding all the moisture here in the form of rainfall it crosses this huge mountain so as they cross this huge mountains the amount of moisture goes on decreasing and here after crossing the mountain they become dry winds either they become dry or they will be having only very less amount of moisture so here also when they are being uh, blocked by any obstacle or a mountain they begins to shed uh, whatever moisture they have so here the amount of rainfall will received will be very less compared to this area which you call as the windward side so leeward side of the mountain will be receiving very little amount or no amount of rainfall so this area you call as rain shadow area so rain shadow area is an area which uh, which lies just opposite to the windward side or which receives very less amount or no amount of rainfall so this is the way how relief rainfall occur and this is the prominent uh, way by which we even indians get rainfall so in india uh, wind will be blowing from Uh, the seas that is the arabian sea and the bay of bengal and they are being blocked in the northern portion you know that we have the boundary as the himalayas so these uh, moisture laden winds are blocked by the mighty himalayas which bring heavy rainfall to different parts of india so this is a relief rainfall or orographic rainfall i hope you understood what is orographic rainfall so the next type of rainfall is the convectional rainfall so convectional rainfall is usually uh, occurring in equatorial regions equatorial <coughs> regions you know <coughs> they are areas which are very hot so in hot areas the temperature is very hot there and so the air also becomes hot there so this hot air rises up towards the atmosphere and <coughs> this convectional rainfall is being uh, usually caused by the rising air current so as the equatorial as in the equatorial regions the rays of the sun falls directly uh, over to these regions and these regions become very hot so the air here also becomes heated up it becomes lighter it expands and it rises up towards the higher up towards the atmosphere so in this uh, in a particular layer of the atmosphere this air will be condensing there it becomes cold as it rises up it goes uh, as the temperature goes on decreasing and decreasing the air becomes cooler and cooler so it absorb moisture there it becomes cooler 
uh, it becomes heavier it begins to descend downwards as its weight increase it begins to uh, descend downwards in the form of rainfall so uh, this rainfall will be accompanied by uh, thunder and lightning usually we have heavy rainfall here and this rainfall is usually accompanied by thunder and lightning and this uh, type of rainfall is called uh, as a result of convectional air current as a result of the movement of or the creation of convectional air current is called convectional rainfall so i hope you understood uh, what is the difference between relief rainfall and convectional rainfall thank you